Hello everybody and welcome back to our Fat Fact series. I am Ted, your host, and for this Fat Fact, we're going to look at the uh, the career and the reign of King Mentuhotep II. Now, Mentuhotep II ruled from roughly uh, 2060 to 2010 BCE, and he began his career at the nomarch of Waset, and he uh, continued in the tradition of the of um, nomarchs from Upper Egypt reuniting the kingdom or uniting the kingdom he follows in Narma's footsteps. Narma was uh the nomarch of um Abydos he was uh a, a one of, he was the, the premier nomarch I should say of upper Egypt and he went on to unify Egypt for the first time and uh during the uh the late stages of the first intermediary period Mentuhotep does the second he reunifies uh, much of Egypt and he uh, in the course of doing so he establishes the Middle Kingdom of Egypt and Dynasty 11 of Egypt now his reign um, uh, it, well first of all his name his name is very significant and it is very indicative of exactly what was happening socially during the uh, the late stages of the uh, first intermediary period uh, his name um, is interesting it means uh, the war god Montu is pleased, and his reign saw uh, Waset finally displace Abydos, Abydos, the, uh, the city of Narmer. Uh, his reign saw Waset displace Abydos at the principal city of Upper Egypt, and he also subdued a number of his rival nomarchs in the process as he began his process of reuniting Egypt uh, un under this Waset dynasty. Um, he he succeeded by Mentuhotep the uh, and, and 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 Mentuhotep the third continues to build upon the career of of uh, Mentuhotep the second, and in doing so, extends uh, the, uh, the 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 Waset uh, princes or the Waset kings control all the way to Memphis and finally into the Mile Narches, and they reunite Egypt and they restore Maat to Egypt. Now the following kings were were not up to par of, of uh, the Mentuhoteps. Um, they were not up to par. Uh, they, they, they were really weak kings and they quickly lost control of, this, of, the, of the kingdom. And the person that they lost control to was their chief royal minister, uh, a man named Amenhemet I. And he would go on to find uh, found Dynasty 12 of Egypt. And again, his name is very uh, indicative of the, of the state of affairs that Egypt was in at the time. So the kings, uh, Bentuhotep and so forth, it was a time where warfare was mainly endemic. The war god had to be pleased. Uh, the war god um, was pleased with their birth. They became great warriors. Amenhemet's name means uh, the, the god Amun or Amun uh, is pleased. Um, it's basically a reversal of that to where the principal uh, deity is now happy. The, the kingdom is reunited, the principal deity is happy. Uh, so we'll break off here with our examination of the career of Mentuhotep II, and we sort of veered into the uh, uh, some of the better accomplishments of Dynasty XI and the founding of Dynasty XII. Um, but we'll break here. Hit like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you thought about this fast fact. And as always, I am Ted, and I'll see you guys next time for another fast fact.